uh, beyond the unicorns and beyond what everybody posts on Facebook. We want people to experience new things and really enjoy the whole process that is behind whiskey. So I'm out here at Gas Bars. You can see it in the background. They actually have a full liquor store, uh, which I'll show you. And then they also have a bar. Um, so I'll also show you that. Um, I'll show, this is the sign. It's in Temple Terrace, Florida. Hey, welcome to Gasper's Liquor Shop. My name is Bradley and I'm gonna be showing you guys around today. Over on this wall over here, we have probably one of the largest American whiskey selections in all of Tampa Bay. I would argue that we have the largest, but as soon as you say that, someone's gonna come around and show a store that might have a couple more bottles than we do. Um, we have everything from bourbon to rye to blended whiskey. If it's made in America, it is on this shelf here. Uh, coming back through the store here, I'm gonna stay focused on whiskey because I'm sure that's why we're on this channel. Uh, we've got your World Whiskey Island. You've got your Irish whiskeys, your Japanese whiskeys, and your Canadian whiskeys over here. And on the other end, we've got blended scotches and then a little section of World Whiskey. We've got stuff from India, stuff from Taiwan. I've even got Australian whiskey. So that's this last four foot section right here. Uh, Mexican whiskey, Swedish whiskey, you name it, if you want to try something new. One of our biggest claim to fames here is actually our sample program. Anywhere you see one of those tags, we have an open bottle behind the counter and we can give you a pour of something at no charge to see if you like it before you spend your money on it. And you can see the program works. Empty slots are usually the slots that have tags because people can get that confidence in what they're you know, buying is something they'll actually like. Over here, we have our single barrel store picks. Uh, at any given time, we usually have about 20 single barrels available. Uh, one of the biggest store pick selections in the area as well. All of which are open to sample as long as we still have plenty in stock. We get down to those last 10 bottles, we're gonna stop opening them. Behind the counter, all single malt scotches. So you can see most of the store is dedicated to whiskey. Uh, we try and do at least two different uh, barrels every month, but it really depends on how quickly they're selling. If the store picks are selling faster, we start picking them you know, faster as well. And then also on availability. Some of these picks, they only let us do you know, one or two barrels a year, so we gotta get them when we can get them. I'll say as far as uh, allocated, we do a real simple thing here. Everything with ours are bundled with store picks. When, when we get something in, we're gonna put it right up here on the counter. We're gonna have a tag on it that says how many store picks you need to buy in order to get it. So to give you an example, Eagle Rare is the most common one. Uh, you buy one store pick, you can get an Eagle Rare at MSRP. Um, and it's just upfront, open and honest. You know exactly what you have to do to get it and there's no games and that's why we always sell out of it right away. We don't like force bundles or anything like that. Do y'all do that normally on the weekends or do you do that? No almost never on the weekends because they're based on the trucks and we don't get trucks on the weekends. Um, we have talked about during the holidays uh, starting to set aside some stuff from deliveries to help people on the weekends, but that's normally a Tuesday through Friday kind of thing. And then you want to show us all your sample bottles? Oh yeah. So I said our biggest claim to fame is our tasting program. You can see back here we have hundreds of bottles open for tasting here. All you have to do is tell us what you want to try and we can have you try some new things and create that consumer confidence before you buy the bottle. You can see why we number them now too. Impossible to find a brand when they're triple stacked like that. So in the uh, bourbon bar, um, right now we are getting ready to do a remodel. We're hoping to have it done by the holiday time so people can come out and enjoy some new pours. But where we have that shuffleboard table and those backdrops, we're actually gonna be taking out some of the display cases and putting in a 18 bottle holder that will automatically dispense one ounce of your choosing. It's linked to a card, so it automatically goes to your tab. And that's where we're gonna pull out some very, very allocated products. We're talking, you know, the higher year Pappy products, um, Purple Top, Willets, all the fun stuff that are super hard to get. 
uh, will be going in the bar there, as well as our inventory of the basic bar will be revamped as well. Um, we're going to get out some of the Michter's uh, toasted barrels, the 10 years, your more mid-range allocated that aren't impossible to find, um, but aren't Pappy 23 level. So one thing we like to pride ourselves on here, or here is our whiskey knowledge. Uh, a lot of people are out there all hunting for the same products over and over and over, and there's not enough of them out there for everyone to get them. So what we like to do is talk to people about what they like to drink already that they can find and show them new brands that maybe they've seen a million times but never even thought of because they keep seeing it and show them how it's actually something they would love and enjoy. You know, and over the years I've been doing this, uh, some people may recognize me and they know my taste profile and they know that it's similar to their own. So if I recommend a product, they can buy it with some confidence, even though we don't have a taster of it or anything like that. But we try and pride ourselves here on getting people to explore this industry and these products uh, beyond the unicorns and beyond what everybody posts on Facebook. We want people to experience new things and really enjoy the whole process that is behind whiskey. So one thing that we do here that's gotten uh, really popular over the months is our uh, different tasting programs that we do here. We bring in either master distillers or brand executives from certain brands. They come down usually on a Wednesday night, but it's during the week and uh, we'll give people a full buffet of food and we'll showcase a certain brand. Um, more recently, we did Smoke Wagon, where Smoke Wagon is newer to the state of Florida and not a lot of people have tried it yet, so we have them bring out the full vertical, the full lineup. Everyone gets uh, you know, a decent pour of, I think, six different bottles and they get to try it. Usually it's gonna be uh, Monday mornings, they will announce on Facebook uh, tastings that are upcoming. They're usually around the $40 price range and they sell out usually that same day. That's all. How do you get that? How do you see those? That's on Gasper's Liquor Shop Facebook page. So we have been uh, setting aside some uh, cases of deliveries over uh, the last about a year or so, uh, getting ready for the holidays. Like I said, we're going to be uh, setting up a new bar with some new brands available to try. We're also going to be doing some fun with allocated items, uh, really focused on around that holiday time frame, getting closer to Thanksgiving. Uh, so if you keep an eye on our Facebook page, Gasper's Liquor Shop on uh, Facebook, you will start to see some posts of uh, Jimmy's countertop is what I think most people call them. Uh, and it usually goes out in the morning, but we're gonna take some allocated items that we've been sitting aside and specifically pulling those out for the holidays. Um, we leverage everything with store picks, like I said earlier. And since everyone's gotta get other gifts for other people for uh, Christmas time, it really works out nicely. You buy your friends some of our store picks and you get the allocated for yourself. So if I could sum up what we do here at Gasper's Liquor Shop is we give people experiences. Um, we don't wanna be another store that just gives you the same bottle over and over every week. We wanna provide uh, something unique and that's why we call ourselves a shop instead of a store. So to sum it up, the experience is what sets us apart from everyone else in Tampa Bay. So I'm just leaving Gas Bars. Amazing staff. Bradley is just an amazing person, knows his bourbon, his whiskeys. Come check out Gas Bars in Temple Terrace, Florida. <laughs>